and welcome to another booktube video from me Lauren from Lauren and the Books and today is my November at the moment video so I'm going to be talking through some things that I've been listening to, watching, reading in the month of November. I'm going to start with, I'm looking over here, maybe I should bring it closer so I don't have to be so unprofessional. Um, the song that I'm listening to at the moment, so <clears throat> I have just been listening to the new Little Mix album which I think came out yesterday, Friday. Um, I'm filming this on Saturday. Sure. That was a, a bit of a puzzle there of what days I was filming it. Hair on me. Um, and I'm, I'm enjoying it. I can't, I haven't looked at like song titles or things like that to tell you which songs that I have fully enjoyed yet. Uh, one of them is Woman's World. I have enjoyed that and I remember looking, because I was enjoying that so much I looked at the, the song title. But a song that I've been listening to on absolute repeat, and David has also, is a song called Rise Up by Andra Day. Um, it is an amazing song and I absolutely love it. It's so empowering and um, just beautifully sung and amazing. Um, and I, I heard that song in two different places which have made me seek it out. So um, first of all it was played during the Rosa Parks episode of uh, Doctor Who, um, which was a few weeks ago, and it's, as I said, it's very, very moving, and I was crying my eyes out because of not only what was happening on screen, but also this song was just absolutely beautiful. And then more recently, it was used um, in Strictly Come Dancing um, on Remembrance Sunday when they did a, um, a dance which um, honoured the women that have served in the RAF. Um, and that was also very moving. <clears throat> so yeah, I, it's a really, really empowering song and um, not just, it, it, it sort of, sort of encompasses all relationships, brothers and sisters and, and mothers and daughters and, and, um, and partners and things like that. And it's just wonderful. And if you haven't listened to it, <laughs> please do listen to it. Um, David can't stop listening to it either. It's absolutely amazing. Um, so the film, the most recent film that I've watched last night, David was away last night working. And I've got a sort of list of things on my um, on my Netflix that I keep for the, if David's never here. And all, in all honesty, whenever that time comes around, I always just end up reading. So I'd read for a little bit and I'd read while I was eating my dinner, uh, mozzarella, tomato and basil, because David doesn't like that. So I have that for <laughs> dinner when he's not here. And then I was like, do you know what? I'm going to watch one of those films. And um, I watched Gaga, Five Foot Two, which is a Netflix um, documentary film um, made about Lady Gaga. Um, it follows a really small part of her life, um, which is um, a th a, a three years after she, which I didn't even know had happened. She broke her hip um, when she was on tour. Um, and this follows uh, three years after that and the build up towards her performing at the, um, at the Super Bowl halftime show. Um, she's just broken up with her fiance. Um, he, he does not feature in the film, but however, like the fact that she's broken up with her fiance features and um, she's um, writing her album, Joanne, um, and producing it with Mark Ronson. Um, and Joanne, the, the title of the album, Joanne, which I had no idea, is um, the title of her dad's sister who died when she was 19 um, of lupus. And it's sort of like a, um, she, she never met her, but she's always been very present in her whole life. Um, and yeah, it's like a, um, a, what do you call it? Like a, what is the word I'm thinking of? Like, in honour of her. I'll say that. In honour of her. Um, and yeah, it was really, like, it, it was it was amazing to see such a determined woman um, just getting on with things and just being amazing. Um, there's a part in the film where she's getting ready, where they're, they're rehearsing for the, um, for the Super Bowl, and she's saying, look... You, you can't just you can't just change this outfit without letting me know you need to let me know everything and everyone sort of like really listen to her it was amazing to see that um, it also highlighted a few things about her I did not even know so um, there's a beef with her and Madonna and things like that and yeah I just I just found it really amazing I mean I've always been um, intrigued by Lady Gaga but my um, my she had my curiosity, but she got my attention <laughs> during A Star Is Born. So I'm really pleased I watched it. Um, it wasn't like the best film I've ever seen. And I do like watching like biopics. Are they called biopics? Of um, of musicians and their lives and things like that. One of my favourite ones is the Katy Perry one. Um, and I feel like that wasn't this wasn't as good as the Katy Perry one. But I mean, if you're a fan of Gaga or you're interested in her, then I feel like this is a really good thing to watch and I quite enjoyed it. Um, so on TV, I haven't really been watching any different TV that I pre uh, that I haven't already mentioned in other months. One thing that I, the last TV show that I watched um, 
was and you all know I'm very much into Strictly Come Dancing which is the UK version of Dancing with the Stars and they have a sort of sister show that runs um, Monday to Friday um, on um, on BBC Two um, and I watched that last night um, they're in Blackpool this weekend which is super exciting I love it when they go to Blackpool my sister used to compete um, in uh, ballroom and Latin American dancing when she was younger and we used to go to uh, uh, Blackpool I don't know if it was every year but it was certainly like we went a few times um, so it's really cool like to see the ballroom knowing that I've been in there and my sister's danced on that floor and things so that's amazing so that's what I'll be watching um tonight but yeah so I watched the um the sister show of that it takes two last night um and very much enjoyed it Basil Brush was on there imagine um and then the books that I'm reading so I won't go into great detail about the books because I recently did my November currently reading video and three of the books that I mentioned in there I am still reading so those ones are educated by Tara Westover the Restless Girls by Jessie Burton, illustrated by Angela Barrett. And Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, um, I'm listening to on Audi Audible. Um, but two more I've picked up since then are All Among the Barley by Melissa Harrison. Um, Mercedes and I are going to the Cambridge Literary Festival next weekend. Very excited. Um, and we're going to a panel which has Melissa Harrison and Horatio Clare on it. Um, I've also got Horatio Clare's book to read this month as well. Um, I'm... 93 pages through this, quite enjoying it. It's set in 1933 and you follow um, Edith, um, Edie, um, uh, her life on the farm um, following the Great War. Um, and there's a woman called Constance who arrives from London. She wants to write a book about the farm um, and you're just following their lives. And I, I, I enjoy both the characters of Edith and um, Edie and Constance and I'm looking forward to seeing uh, more where this goes. So very much enjoying that. And another one I'm really enjoying as well is Women in Battle, um, which is by Marta Breen and Jenny Jordan. This is a graphic novel about the history of um, women and the right to vote and just women's rights in general. Um, I have just got up to um, we're up to sort of like the 1850s now. Um, I really like the way it's done. So it's done in um, illustrations, but each part is set into like, so this is like the blue part, which is more about um, women. I, I think this is like, this is like very, very back in history. Then we move on to the red part, which is more about um, suffragettes and women's getting the vote. And now I'm on to the orange part, which says here, the Iranian martyr. Um, so yeah, so very much enjoying this. And also one thing that the publisher sent with me, um, sent to me is this press release, but on the back of it, it's got this fantastic piece of art that I'm actually gonna get framed. I think it's A4, it might be a little bit smaller than A4, but it's got all these women, um, and then they're holding a picket of um, the year that they all, that all women in that country um, got the vote. So yeah, although like in um, in the UK, some women started getting the vote, it was women over 30 and, um, and women of a middle class and things like that. So this shows um, when all women get the vote and I just think it's amazing. And that's one of the, the, the pages in the book. So I'm definitely gonna get that framed. Um, but yeah, very much enjoying that. Very much enjoying that indeed. So those are the two books I'm reading at the moment. There's five books that I'm reading at the moment. Imagine. Um, what have I been doing online? So I have been continuing my Christmas shopping. I've been really, really taking advantage of, um, of when I've had sort of like discount codes and things like that and really trying to make um, make some savings this year um, I've actually just reminded myself that I've got a Marks and Spencer's discount code that is only valid for this weekend so I need to um, to order a few bits off of there can't say what in case those people are watching this video um, but yeah I've definitely been continuing my Christmas shopping um, online but also in person as well I've been picking things up as well which has been very exciting and actually I've got drawers under my bed and one of them has been dedicated to to birthday presents and things throughout the year as I've seen things I've picked them up and now it's become Christmas drawer and it's just absolutely full and earlier in the week I got everything out Minnie jumped into it and then jumped down the back of the butt bed which caused a bit of drama for a while but she's safe she's fine um so yeah so everything's going very well with um Christmas so and then that leads into um what I've been watching on YouTube and um I've been watching all the Christmas adverts so um the I think it's a mainly a UK thing but every year there's like a big thing about what shops are doing what Christmas adverts the John Lewis Christmas advert is always very highly awaited um and is one of my favorite Christmas adverts of all time I think it was the 2014 one which was Monty the Penguin which is my favorite one so the John Lewis advert this year is Elton John um and um when I first watched it I was a bit like oh that's not very Christmassy but actually the more I watch it the more I get into it and it, it it's um Elton John um playing the piano in his um in his lounge uh, on Chris I think there's a Christmas tree there and it sort of goes back um through his life um until he got a um piano for Christmas one year which is just a lovely sentiment that like a gift you can give um can change someone's life and and, and make a person um so yeah that 
that was lovely. And as I said, like I didn't love it when I first watched it, um, but the more I watch it, the more I think about the sentiment. I'm like, mm, that's very nice. And also, I like it that it's not um, like really plug in some some stuff that you can buy in store, which is also a nice thing. Um, another advert that I love, which always David and I have just absolutely loved um, Sainsbury's adverts the last few years um, and that is their um, advert called The Big Night this year and it's about a nativity play and just putting your all into everything and just really going for it. I will link all of these adverts down below because if you haven't watched them you really should. Um, and yeah, so those are my two favourites from, um, from this year. Would love to hear um, and also, if you can point me in the right direction of some of your Christmas advert favourites this year. I also quite enjoy Kevin the Carrot as well. Um, I quite enjoy him and his little life. Uh, Mark Spencer's one I was a bit disappointed by this year. Oh, the Asda one's quite good as well. It's got quite a good... Uh, it's about Christmas sort of like arriving like all of a sudden. Um, so yeah, but there's lots of Christmas adverts. I can't really actually know. Uh, uh, uh. So those are the things that I am currently reading, watching, listening to, doing online, um, having fun with at the moment. Would love to hear some of the things that you are up to at the moment. And I'll see you all again soon for another booktube video. Goodbye!